the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road up yet um made my coffee as you saw i just had to drop Brittany off at work she starts her day at seven at her job uh exciting day today i'm going to get my nails done this morning and then i'm going for um that second interview uh actually the third interview uh for a specific place um to be um a nurse manager which I'm pretty excited about, uh, haven't been in the like clinical realm. I've been doing more of, you know, like a different facet of nursing for quite some time. So I'm excited to get back into the grind, um, put on my scrubs and just be. I'm starting the day off with a chocolate shake inside my coffee, which is delicious. Um, I finished the hot chocolate the little box that came in the inherited box and now I'm like ah I wish I had hot chocolate because while the shakes are so good um that hot chocolate just has such good hot chocolate flavor I guess you could say and the shake is more of a mild flavor in it but regardless it's good. Last night I had, um, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, I showed that I made some hearts of palm on the side of my chicken and I put soy sauce in it and it was, it was like a uh, lo mein from Chinese food. I don't know what my soy sauce kick is lately, but it's definitely there. Uh, I woke up this morning so puffy. My fingers, I, I don't really like to sleep with rings on. Uh, I could barely get them on my hands this morning, which is nuts. So guys, if you are eating things that have heavy salt, just be mindful when you get on the scale the next day, you're going to see an increase. It is not fat, okay? Because I got on the scale this morning and I was up and I know, I know I haven't cheated or deviated or done anything wrong. I've just been eating quite a bit of soy sauce. And yesterday, my water was not on par. Guys, yesterday, when I tell you, <laughs> you wanna know what my day consisted of? Sleeping. I slept hours during the day. I slept all night. Hence the peppy, I mean, I'm always peppy in the morning. This is just me. But I feel like I could go run a marathon right now. My body just collapsed. It was ridiculous. I couldn't believe it. And, um, so I feel good. I'm going to go home and I take a shower and I wash and do my new hair <laughs> and get ready. We'll hit the nail salon together. Um, and then I go on this interview, which I really hope I get. I'm just grateful to get back into a pair of scrubs and take care of patients in, and support nurses and just be that Felician nurse that I once was. The next time you see me, I will be dressed and we will be, let me see, probably at feeling two. And then after that, we will hit the nail salon because let me take these off. Whew, I look terrible. Sorry, guys. My nails really need to be done. They need a fill in, they need to be cut down. Again, my nails grow like super fast. And I always notice, always, always, always on Optavia, my hair and nails grow super fast. It, it's got to be the vitamins in the minerals in the feelings. Otherwise, I, I can't explain it. Oh my God, look at what I look like. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. This is just me getting out of bed. Oh, wow. All right, I will see you back at home. All right, guys, all dressed, ready to go into the nail salon. I'm probably going to go with a neutral color, um, being that 
you know, I'm applying for this medical position. I don't want to go in with wacky colors, even though I'm dying to do like a purple or a blue, but, um, yeah, gotta do, gotta play the part, right? And so, uh, let's head inside and go pick a color. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Nails are done. I did do a light lavender. I figured it was neutral enough to, um not be a wild color but i really oh the light i really wanted purple <laughs> so there you go all right so now uh what time is it it's 11 o'clock i don't have to be at the interview till 1 30 so gonna head home gonna get some gas change and have something to eat fueling wise and then um head out all right let's it's go so nice out having a mint bar I'm gonna go inside and get changed. Head out for the interview. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Beautiful day. The sky is a little iffy, but it's gorgeous out here. The weather today is so nice. Mmm, so good. I'll show you. Oh, let me show you what I'm wearing. See the sneakers? They're from Walmart. <laughs> All right, let's go get ready. All right, guys, I'm here. And I wore a nice green satin blouse in honor of St. Patrick's Day, or as I like to call it, Jess Patrick Day. Jess, uh, his middle name is Patrick, so we always say happy Jess Patrick Day. Um, Nails done, hair looks good. Um, I don't know, I have like really good vibes here. We'll see, ah, we'll see. I'm a little bit anxious, but that's good. That's, that's like, I work best under pressure. So that's a good sign. So I have about 20 minutes until my interview. So in five minutes, I will be going inside. I like to be early and I guess that's it. Guys, here's Lean and Green for today. And in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I decided to do something really green. <laughs> Instead of hearts of palm or cauliflower rice, I went with the green broccoli. And I have ground turkey, and I mixed some laughing cow in there to make a cream sauce. And I'm about to enjoy this big bowl. Sorry about the camera angle, guys. I'm home, and the interview went so well. I'm really excited. I will find out Monday what the deal is, but uh, after my interview, they gave me some paperwork to fill out. So I feel like that was a really good sign uh, wearing green for St. Patty's Day. Anyway, um, decided to make my leaning green full of green for St. Patrick's Day. As I showed you in the clip before this, there's ground turkey, there's laughing cow and broccoli. And the laughing cow, when you put it into food that's already hot, it makes a really nice cream sauce. A couple of years ago, I created a uh, Alfredo sauce that I used to make in beef bowls, chicken bowls, fish bowls, all kinds of bowls. And this is my turkey broccoli bowl with three laughing cow wedges as three condiments. So I'm gonna go eat this. I'm gonna go change my clothes. I'm gonna go head out and walk the dogs and I will be back. So we are here at the New Jersey State Botanical Gardens up in Ringwood, New Jersey. We took a ride with the dogs. Uh, it is stunning here. As you can see, there's mountains behind us. There's nobody here. <laughs> it's pretty quiet and it's stunning. All cherry blossoms that bloom in the spring and just acres and acres to explore. Actually, there is somebody behind me <laughs> walking. Um, so excited to be here. The clean air and the silent sound of this place is just mind blowing. Anyway, 
I'm gonna uh, catch up with Jess and the girls. We're getting in our steps. Had my fuelings. The only thing I have left is leaning green and one fueling. Wearing my blondie t-shirt that I got at Walmart. <laughs> I love it. Some old statues. They're really cool. And they're positioned so that their faces face that. <laughs> it's so pretty. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, they're covering all territory. This one's looking out that way. That one's looking out. This one, you can see the pupils on the eyeball, so you can tell the direction. Creepy. They're all just looking. They seem way more concerned with this way than that way. Yeah. If I were going to attack these statues, I'd say I'd have to attack from that direction. They're just <laughs> from not behind. Looking, they're just not looking that way. Good afternoon. Welcome to the restrooms. Here at the restrooms, we want to avoid confusion. That is why the lowercase eyes have been applied with the uppercase letters so you don't confuse the vending machine for the Vlettende Maschlein. Here at the Skylands Manor Sundial, we've noticed they have yet to adjust for daylight savings time. Technically it's 6.13 and this says 5.13 right here. So I'm going to rotate the entire thing one hour. Keep an eye out for the steps, Lori. There was nothing that said signpost. <laughs> I, I knew about the steps. I just didn't know about the signpost. Now I gotta use this to get down the steps. It's lean and green time, so I have three servings of iceberg lettuce. I have one pork chop here that I coated in yellow mustard and a little bit of pepper, and I have a little bit of G. Hughes salad dressing on top. That's my lean and green, and that was our day. And don't forget, tomorrow is weigh-in day. I will see you tomorrow.